uh, include multiple desktop, hardware out of configuration, input image software, software repositories, support normal software, and free. it is free operating system. This is uh, Ubuntu logo. Uh, the first one is from 2004 until 2010, and the second one is 2010 until now. So the last one is the current desktop version, which is Ubuntu 24.04 LTS for Kefosa. So that's all from me for the question number one. I pass to Alia for the next slide. Thank you. Dapat tak share slide? Hmm. Kalau tak dapat hmm. share slide, minta kawan yang lain share kan? Dapat tak? Uh, masih ada PowerPoint? Okay. Nampak? Okay. Okay. For the first question is how both operating system handle their memory management, especially on virtual mem memory. Okay. For the first one is the Windows. Windows make the distance between memory and addresses space. Each process is attribute to GIP for user address space and all processes using the same range of linear 32 bits address. Windows can take care of paging memory to and from this so that each of process is sure to be able to address the memory needs. Uh, Windows Virtual Memory Manager actually represent two memory location at different physical location. That is physical memory and PC hard disk. So the virtual memory and application is able to manage its own address spaces without having considered the impact on other processes in the system. The memory manager in Windows is responsible to see all application have enough physical memory. Okay, this is the figure for the Windows. Okay, next we move to Linux. The virtual and physical memory is divided into fixed length chunk known as pages. In the page model, virtual address can be divided into two parts, which is offset lowest 20, 12 bits and virtual page frame um, and the rest of the bits. It can extract the virtual page frame number of it. Then it translate the virtual page into the physical page frame number. The offset parts will help to get the exact address of the physical page. Okay, this is the figure for the Linux, as you can see, from the virtual memory to the page table and then to the RAM. Next question is limitation of maximum or minimum memory required by each operating system, especially on 64 bits or 32 bits architecture. For the Windows, for the 32, 32 bits home, uh, okay, for the Windows, there's a 2 for 32 bits and for 64 four bits for the 32 bits there is a windows home windows and home and professional edition is for git both have four gips and for 64 edition there's a um, extra amount of memory such as for the windows 10 64 bits for home it gives a 128 gig and for the professional is two terabyte Okay, for the Linux, uh, for the TT2 Linux installation, there's only up to 4 gig. But for the uh, 62, there's a uh, 64 gig for the memory. To check out the maximum memory, we can type at the terminal sudo dimacode t16. And then for the next question, compare and recommend which operating system utilize its memory more efficient. 
for the normal usage um, as you can see or uh, as a uh, uh, operating system and software updates windows uh, used to us by uh, get a pop-up asking for us to update the window so it going uh, it's being a beautiful and security conscious user how, how uh, for us um we can decide whether we can update for a uh, different application in windows but in the ubuntu it's different because diff, uh, everything is done via repo repositories and it use a dedicated update manager to update the operating system for all the applications so you only need to manage your updates from one place so for me i recommend ubuntu is more uh, efficient because user will not get the pop-up skin for every time you want to update and ubuntu makes the process more slicker and user tend not to turn off them that means you are more secure next for the server usage for me it's a security because the windows 10 has a pretty good security features that is it is implemented properly and give you quite secure system to work with and ubuntu has always been a secure operating system since the early days it has been the subject of debate that an open source operating system cannot be secure as a priority one but even to can prove that the belief is untrue so i recommend the ubuntu is more efficient because since any system or program access a resource or execute a file or program it must have the permission if do not have then the permission will be blocked so that's all from me thank you Uh, turn on speaker though. Okay. 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 Start. Present. Yeah, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Nova Shahira. I will uh, present about process management. The first one is about handling process management. For Ubuntu, uh, the Linux seminar have a number of useful commands that can display running process, kill and change the priority level. This is mostly the classic traditional command as well as some more useful to modern one. Many of the commands here perform a single function and can be combined. Uh, this is the list of uh, the command that can be used, which is stop, hash stop, ps, ps3, k, pkrit, pk and all k, units and sk. This is uh, the example of the command. The next one is uh, Windows, Windows 10. Win the window task manager is powerful to pack with useful information from your system overall results, results to detail statistics about each process. Um, task manager managing process is uh, the process that show the comprehensive list of the process running on the system. If so, it by name, the list is broken into three categories. The first one is the apps group. Show the same list of running application we will see in the few editors simplified view. Second is background process and third is window process. For example, tools like Dropbox, your antivirus program, background update process and hardware, utilities with notification area, this ray, assistance ray icon appear in the background process list. This is um, by right click action. 
the process will see on action can perform. Uh, this is the category of process which is app, background process and window process if you do the right click process. When did a right click on the heading, can see the resource value menu. This is uh, the same option that appear when right click on individual process. Whether or not can access the option through right clicking on individual, it always changes how, how all processes in list appear. This uh, manager detail process. This is the most detailed task manager page. It's like the process tab, but it provides more information and show process for all user account on your system. Uh, this is the more the more powerful task manager, which is Process Explorer. This is the free program from Microsoft. It part of the same internal suite it, of useful system tool. Process Explorer is packed with feature and information not included in the task manager. You can view which pro which program has a particular file open and unlock the file. The default view also make it easy to see which processes have opened with other processes. Second one is operating system effect on CPU type. For Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu depend on what to do with Linux that system requirement that can range from the all inter the all inter 386 to state of the art Pentium 4. This is the compatible CPU type. Uh, which is first Intel Motorola uh, slash IBM Alpha. Second one is one eight zero three eight six DX slash PPC slash Omega slash Apple Compact and HP. The third one is one eight zero six eight six slash Pentium two three and four. The last one is AMD Eclan. Linux uh, one originary device on Intel 368 and however the, this does not necessarily mean that Linux work better on PC than Mac. Today Linux Vista uh, is popular on Intel, Mac and AMD 64 processor. Therefore most of the common software is actively developed for this platform. Uh, this uh, use following command to display information about CPU open Terminal type the following command at the page form, which is cat slash pack CPU info. This is uh, for Windows 10. Windows 10 task manager show the test view information. Right click your taskbar and select task manager or press control plus shift plus escape to launch. Uh, click the performance tab and select CPU. The name and speed of your computer CPU appear here. Uh, okay, as also see real time CPU user data and other data including the number of core and your computer CPU. This uh, this show the you computer CPU model and speed are displayed on the right of processor under the system ID. This can find can find this information in control pane. Specifically, it's on the system pane. You can also press window plus pause on the keyboard to instantly open this window. If window isn't boosting on your system, you can still find this information in several other ways. Your computer documentation likely includes system specification detail like this. You may also find this information displayed in your computer BIOS or your EFI firmware system screen. This one, the last one is compare and Command on first is normal users, which is every users by normal user. For Ubuntu, it is uh, it mostly used for technical people because you should know various commands to be all, to be able to work with Linux. For an average user, it will require significant time to learn Linux. Also, the troubleshooting process on Linux is complicated than on Windows. Uh, for Windows. Windows has a rich GUI and can be easily used by technical as well as non-technical person. It is very simple and user-friendly. Uh, the second one is about installation. For Ubuntu, it's complicated to set up. Require, it's require a lot of user input for installation. For Windows, it's easy to set up. Require far fewer user input during installation. However, it takes 
it takes longer to install Windows compared to Linux installation. Uh, second, about server usage, which is server environment. Uh, first, for your Ubuntu Linux, uh, it is an open source, which is available for free, and it work on by community of developers. For businesses, Ubuntu Linux can be set up for free and customized to meet the need of the organization given a skill development kit. Ubuntu Linux has built in integration with many open source software options. Lastly, Ubuntu Linux is a lightweight operating system requiring fewer resources than other solutions. For Windows Server, it allows businesses to set up server that, that run Microsoft software like software Microsoft SQL without using an emulator. Its compatibility with Microsoft software makes it easy for businesses using Microsoft technology to implement Windows Server. Second one is about limitation. Ubuntu Linux offer high flexibility and potentially free implementation. Linux integrate seamless with many with many open source technology. It's requ it's require a window emulator to utilize software like Microsoft SQL. Uh, for Windows Server, it's integrate well with Microsoft software. But for pro businesses using uh, other software, a server software, a different operating system may be easy to implement. Businesses, businesses that aren't using primary Microsoft software may prefer the flexibility of other operating systems. There are. Uh, file management. The uh, file management for Ubuntu. Next slide. Uh, oh, no, no. The first slide. Thank you. File manager. A file manager is a computer program that provides a user user interface to manage files and for the the file manager for Ubuntu is called as Nautilus file man Nautilus file manager. Ubuntu files are organized in a tree-like structure, which all files and a uh, directory have a common root. A uh, root directory contains other directory and files. Directory travel back and forth to reach the element that listed separated by sign. Next. Ubuntu naming convention. First one is the Ubuntu, for Ubuntu, the file names are case sensitive which means it recognizes uppercase and lowercase. The file names can be up to 255 character long, alphabet alphabetic character, underscore, and number. Next. Ubuntu system related file. For Ubuntu system file can be changed while they are open. The files are indexed by the num by the the files are indexed by a number which is called inode. When a file is deleted, the inode is unlinked from the file name. But if some other program is using the file, it still has a link open to the OS and will continue to be updated. A file is not really deleted until all links have been removed. One of the characters that show privilege is RWX, which means read access, write access, and execute access. It also includes C for character special file, D for directory file, B for black special file, dash for a file, and L is for a link. Next. The pros and cons for Ubuntu. The pros, the pros for open source. The pros for Ubuntu. Number one is it's open source. Ubuntu is an open source operating system, which means individuals and organization can own and maintain it without the need to pay for the license or purchase exclusive. Second, it works in a range of devices or computer platform. It can be installed in numerous devices, including Windows computer and Mac computers. Third, it's minimal hardware or sy system requirement. Ubuntu does not require a high-end system requirement unlike the latest version of Windows and Mac OS. The OS can run directly from external storage mediums such as solid-state drive, 
a USB flash drive as well as DVD. But for the clones Ubuntu, the number one is problem about software and hardware compatibility. Some users have reported driver issue or compatibility between the operating system and the hardware specification of their computer. The second cons for Ubuntu is it has limited and impressive game titles. Most of the games available for this OS are too simple or in other words, they lack advanced gameplay and immersive graphical experience. For Windows, the file management for Windows. When using Windows 10 system to create information, over time it accumulated a lot of system that store on our hard disk. File system are managed by how files are stored and accessed on computer. The part of us interact with the records that we create on our computer, such as document, audio files, pictures, and video is the file manager. The file manager in Windows 10 is called as File Explorer. The File Explorer can be used variety of tasks, like management and organization of files and folders, view and manage the resource of the computer, such as internet storage. For the system related, for the naming convention in Windows 10, Next slide. For the naming convention in Windows 10, the file names case the file names are not case sensitive, which means it it not recognized as one files house in a single directory. The backlash is separate components of a path divide file names from the name from the path and one directory with another directory. The directory is a file with a special attribute designating it as a directory. Otherwise, must follow all the same name rule as a regular files. Next slide. The Windows 10 system related file. A uh, Windows system file is any file with the hidden system attribute turned on. The, these files are changed automatically. Any changes will cause failure. And the system files can be stored in lots of location, but the majority of Windows system files are stored in C windows. The okay, next up. The pros and cons for Windows 10. The number one for pros in Windows is Ubuntu is an open source, open source operating system. Individuals are the first one improves security and management. The first one, Microsoft has leveraged its huge data pool and applied AI technique, which it calls the Microsoft Intelligence Security Graph. It detects and removes malware before it has a chance to get into your network or system. The second one, it improves the privacy and transparency. The user can access information about the data being collected on them by apps, as well as direct access to the privacy statement during the setup process. The cons for Windows 10 is Compatibility. The compatibility of software and hardware can be a reason to not switch to Windows 10. Especially all the programs and games may no longer work on this latest operating system from Microsoft. Upgrading using an old computer sometimes could slow down the computer because the out of date hardware is not enough to run with the new system software. Thank you. Habis dah ke? Hajar belum present ni kan? Dah ke lagi? Belum present ni dah ke Hajar tu kena, kena keluar balik tu, baru masuk, masuk balik, baru okey <coughs>
Ajar seorang je kan Ada lagi dua Haa ah, ok Siapa present? Kenapa hang ke? Haa, saya kejap-kejap nak ah, tolong okay. tolong buka slide Okay, uh, ni lah slide number tujuh. Uh, slide number tujuh, uh, slide number seven. Okay, uh, so we start. <laughs> so uh, uh, now I will uh, proceed with how both operating system handle and attempt to hack uh, your system from the internet. So basically this is uh, the way that we can uh, do. Uh, first for Windows 10, we can check our Windows log. So uh, you can uh, simplify, uh, use this step to uh to know uh your um uh, windows have been locked uh, for other person next next uh so this is the step to uh we use uh and then for ubuntu Okay, Ubuntu, we can use uh, monitor user activity. Uh, if you suspect uh, you've been hacked, uh, for, so for the first step, we can use uh, uh, this. Uh, 
uh, you can go to the terminal and using command uh, W or who uh, it can contain uh, it can come up with uh, the more information uh, for the user had used your uh, operating system. Next. Next. Okay. For the mechanism of preventing, uh, for Windows 10, but, balik. Okay. Uh, for Windows 10, we can use, uh, we can install antivirus and anti-spy software. So, uh, this both uh, anti-spy and antivirus uh, can uh, uh, can pro uh, not uh, it's uh, cannot provide hundred percent protection. Uh, but we can uh, use this uh, this uh, antivirus and anti-spy software uh, to get the uh, malware protection. Uh, for the outsider so for the windows 10 eh, for the ubuntu next okay we can uh, install a firewall so every computer uh, has connected to the internet so we should run a firewall all the time for the linux uh, we, uh, we have a built-in firewall so it can uh, it can uh, consider as execute for consumer uh, protection. Uh, so uh, be sure to figure out your preferred firewall through the uh, security privacy area of the system system setting. So that's all from me. Thank you. Next, the next part is the comparison between Windows 10 and Ubuntu. Next slide. For the first one is in speed. Linux distribution have lower system requirement than Windows. Linux typically put less strain on your computer CPU and doesn't need doesn't need as much hard drive space. Ubuntu will be faster than Windows 10 in speed. The second is ability. Windows has wider software compatibility and only a small part of game is available for Ubuntu, which makes it unlikely for Ubuntu to run faster than in Windows. The third one is security. Ubuntu secure the Windows. The Ubuntu user community is smaller than Windows, which means the user account have far fewer permission than in Windows. To install and make a change on Ubuntu, we need to enter password and gain root privilege. Next slide. The fourth one is user friendly. Ubuntu is more user resource friendly. Ubuntu can run on older hardware far better than Windows. For in privacy, Windows doesn't take privacy seriously. Majority of privacy intrusive behavior can be disabled, even the option, even the option available to turn on and off on user behalf. Most Linux distribution will not collect your data at all. Interface for the interface, Windows user community is mainly ordinary user and game, play, game player, as it easy for beginner as and it has graphical user. But for the Ubuntu part, Ubuntu has both the graphical interface operation and the full command line operation. Thank you. Habis dah semua? Habis dah. Habis dah. In terms of security, window dengan Linux mana okey? 
Security Ubuntu. Uh, Linux. Okay. Why? Because uh, uh, Linux is the firewall. Windows tak ada firewall ke? Dia tak, Windows dia tak. banyak untuk message je. Untuk kalau firewall dia kena install lain. Kena beli software tertentu. In term of file management, which one better? For the file management is Windows better. Windows better. Why? First, dia tak pakai, dia bukan case sensitive. Lagi? Next one, dia... Dia tak ambil... Dia boleh... Apa tu nama dia? Compatibility dia antara Windows operating system tu dengan hardware. Hmm. Yang user friendly siapa dia? User friendly uh, Linux Ubuntu. Ya ke? Ya ke? Uh, kalau in term of Uh, uh, yang free software uh, Kalau senang tu install semua Lebih kepada Ubuntu tapi kalau in, in term of uh, Penggunaan harian better dengan Windows Sebab kalau Linux Dia banyak komen yang nak kena hafal Kena belajar dulu semua. Tapi kalau Windows kalau untuk yang non teknikal boleh guna. Okey okey. Uh, that's all ya. Yeah. Dah Samira report. Dah dah. Samira eh. Dekat Kalam eh. Ah Kalam. Kalam. Yang video dalam Google Drive. Ah dah okey. Tu uh, hajar kat mana? Kutip durian ke? <laughs> Seronok lah kutik durian, durian kat belakang rumah ni, belakang tu je. Kat luar rumah tak ada deadline se. Ya. Ingat lagi kutik durian. <laughs> so ajar stand se. Post. Ha. Post. Durian tak ada UMP. Dah habis lah durian. Tunggu dah. Uh, Okey lah. Uh, terima kasih semua. Thank you. Thank you sir. Uh, okay, Thank, you, sir. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Yes sir.